If you've used colour or an image that goes to the edges of your pages, you will need to add on bleed onto your document. Now this is an extra area so that when the pages are trimmed, there are no white edges. If you navigate to your page setup options and then to paper, you want to add on 5mm onto your width and 5mm onto the height of your document. That means that there are 2.5mm of bleed on each edge of the page. Once you've done this, make sure that you apply it to the whole document by using the apply to button. Because we've added that extra space onto our height and width, we will need to account for this within our margins also. So again, we just need to add on 2.5 millimeters onto our top, bottom, inside and outside margins. And then that way your margins will still be the same as they were previously. Once you're finished and happy with your margin settings and make sure that you applied it to the whole document, press OK. And this will apply it to all your pages. As you can see, it's then applied that 2.5 millimeter extra bleed area that we need and accounted for in your margins. And that is how you set up your document to have bleed with a page background.